Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News at 6 starts now. For a fourth day in a row, Metro Detroiters could be facing powerful and damaging storms caused by this heat wave. Thank you so much for being with us. I'm Kimberly Gill. And I'm Damon Fernandez. You know, it's a list of threats we've seen before, but now is not the time to get too comfortable around this. Many of us could see strong winds, hail, and multiple lightning strikes in our neighborhoods tonight. The damage caused by these storms is something you've been showing us all week here. These are just a few photos posted to our My Picks page in the past 24 hours from people across Metro Detroit. Southern Oakland County saw most of the damage from this most recent round of severe weather. And you know, at the root of these pop up storms is the intense heat. Temps in Detroit are above 90 again. Other cities are seeing the same. Yeah, so what does this all mean for the rest of tonight and tomorrow? Forewarned meteorologist Ron Hilliard is tracking it all, joins us now with what your neighborhood can expect in the next few hours here. Kimberly Damon, we are tracking storms right now on a Zach Track 4D radar. We do not have active severe thunderstorm warnings. These are below that strength just barely with these storms carrying the potential for gusty winds up to 50 miles per hour. So let's go ahead and start over toward the west side of town right now in Ingham County. They have a severe thunderstorm warning, but that has not been extended into Livingston and Washtenaw counties. But we will still have the potential for some very gusty winds out of this storm as it is entering, moving toward the east side southeast at about 15 miles per hour. So let's go ahead and track this as it is moving through the area and you will see some of the communities that are going to be in this path. It is going to be again moving to the east southeast at right about 10 miles per hour and one of the places that will be impacted Unadilla. We will see this coming in in the next 15 minutes or so. We're going to see this in the Pickney area and right hell Michigan right about 630 and eventually this will make its way down toward the Chelsea area getting into the North Bill and Ann Arbor areas. We'll see if it will maintain some of that strength with some of those gusty winds and one of the other concerns out of these storms that are moving through the area the very heavy rain as you get into Moreau County these storms right here the potential of winds up to 40 miles per hour they're tracking to the east and east southeast as well we're going to have more updates coming up yeah, you know, it's been a busy 24 hours when it comes to tough summer weather. We've been dodging storms, storm damage, and even some minor flooding this afternoon. And you've seen the alerts we've sent directly to your phone with the intention of keeping you safe. And thankfully, viewers like you are taking shelter when these warnings come out because the damage and danger is real. Now, this is video from our own Hank Winchester's home where a tree crashed down onto a gazebo in his backyard. Cleanup efforts across Oakland County are going are ongoing and will likely take more than a day or two to complete. So let's get a closer look at the hardest hit area, Southfield, Berkeley and Beverly Hills, which is where we find local force Rod Maloney live with more Rod. Yeah, Kimberly, here's the thing. Take a look. The, the owner of this car says this is breaking his heart because he's put a lot of money into this and he oh, thinks of this man. as his, uh, you know, his great car. It's a 97 Bonneville. And uh, he's very proud of it, but it's in pieces right now. It's probably going to end up total. You've got branches down everywhere. This is 13 mile road here. We have flooding out here on the sidewalks. It's just been a mess. And it's been one of those days where we've been dodging raindrops and sweating before that. This afternoon's rain sped through the neighborhoods north of 13 mile. The downpour is so quick and heavy that it flooded the Rutland East with half a foot of water in mere minutes. This, of course, slowed progress in getting the broken power poles repaired and completely stopped the greatly needed tree removal operation. Many trees, particularly silver maples, exposing previously unknown internal bug damage. Last night's storm impressed Frank LaFada. Within a matter of, I'd say, about four seconds, it looked like it was going one direction, then another, then a different direction, then another. and sitting in our uh, three seasons room back here and all of a sudden I saw sparks coming and a branch fall down and you know just watching what's going on and I ran inside and grabbed my daughter. A few doors down this house getting a flippers overhaul now needs more work considering a backyard tree separated the main residence from the garage. Liz Erickson also needs a tree service. She came home after the storm hit last night and found her beloved backyard trees lying on their sides and on top of her unattached garage and also on her neighbor's home, filling her backyard with an impressive selection of future firewood. Yeah, when I came home and I noticed my favorite tree was across my house and my neighbors, I was just, I was stunned because this 
is one of my favorite things. I enjoy the shade, you know, and, and my garage. I can't even open it. I don't, I don't know what it looks like in there yet. And take a look at this on 13 Mile. Massive tree on its side. They're everywhere around here. Uh, you see this one here as well. And there are wires down in the backyard. There's another tree in the back over here that's down. There's one lying on the top of that house there. So it's going to be a busy few days here in this Beverly Hills area as they clean up all of this mess. Beverly Hills police asking residents not to park their cars on the street because they need to get the vehicles in there so that they can take all of this mess away. Reporting live in Beverly Hills, Rod Maloney, Local 4. So tough seeing all that, Rod. Thank you. Now, if you have storm damage or can't get the help you need for repairs and need help me hang to investigate, just head on over to click on Detroit Help Desk. Just scan the QR code right on your screen and get in touch with us. You can also just go to help.clickondetroit.com. Also, be sure to check your forewarn weather app to help plan your day. That hour by hour forecast can help you avoid the hottest moments of the day that could put you and your little ones at risk.